Carol Siege always suspected ADHD ran in her family. All four of her sons have been diagnosed. People who are going through the experience, it makes perfect sense to them. Today's news confirming a genetic link comes as a relief to these parents of kids with ADHD. Oh, it's wonderful because it's it's so been so obvious to us. And um, so it takes away that the, the blame and the shame that you feel as a parent. Researchers have found specific genetic mutations that double the risk for ADHD. It's not a single gene to a single disorder. Scientists examined the chromosomes of 366 children with ADHD and found either too many or too few copies of certain genes. Studies suggest these genes may help control brain development and behavior. Many years ago, people didn't used to think of autism as a brain disorder. People used to think it was due to negative parenting. We, nobody would think that now. For now, genetic testing for ADHD remains a research tool, with the diagnosis still made on the basis of behavior. Katie? And I know ADHD, John, is a broad term used to describe kids with the disorder, even though cases range from mild to severe. How do you think this new finding will impact the way doctors treat the disorder. Well, Katie, the researchers in the study found that one child with ADHD can have a totally different mutation than another kid with ADHD. So rather than treating everybody the same way in the future, maybe we'll figure out, okay, exactly what kind of ADHD do you have, and then develop a more personalized treatment plan. All right. Dr. John LaFouk, John, thank you.